As the pandemic has come about since March 13th, we've noticed that more and more reports from parents and students um, about needing some social emotional help, as well as dealing with depression and anxiety. We've noticed that just from the outcry from parents, as well as evaluating social media and the things that our students are posting, and you know, definitely raised our concern about what, what do our students really need? We're so fortunate at Centennial to have an incredible counseling team where all they wanna do is help and all they wanna do is support students. So one thing we noticed with the kids coming back was the high levels of stress and anxiety. And it makes sense, right? They were coming back not only from dealing with the social traumas of COVID-19 and the racial disparities and the conversations that we've been having as a nation, but they're coming back to a system that they didn't understand because we are used to welcoming students into the school face to face every single year. So the stress levels and the anxiety that our students and our families were facing was not only real, but immediate and intense. And we as the school counselors felt it, and we know that the administrators did as well, as we received the flood of emails, you know, from concerned parents and from concerned kids. And so what we did was we put together a plan, a plan to address the students as a whole. And so we partnered with the social studies teachers and PE teachers in order to deliver curriculum. And it was a four lesson series that started with the COVID-19 experience and took us all the way through uh, racial injustice and disparities that our community has been facing. In addition to that, we created a needs assessment and that needs assessment went out through our English classes where over 2000 kids took it. And what that did was that provided us the ability to create a series of small group lessons for students who needed additional coping mechanisms with stress and anxiety. When looking at the student needs assessment, we really looked at what students were asking for. And that's why we wanted to hear from them. Um, looking at the results, it showed that more of our, than half of our students were stressed out. And in addition to that, when we looked at the reasons that they were stressed out, a lot of it was wanting a space to talk, wanting those coping skills. And also a lot of it was not understanding what's gonna happen next, what's gonna happen with their future. The beauty of the lessons that we were able to produce was that it gave students the outlets with their teachers to sit and talk about those experiences and teachers to be able to receive that and then provide the positive coping skills that we partnered with to make sure that got out there. And what we did see ultimately in the end reduced stress levels, reduced anxiety. The one place that students can come to learn objectively and to um, be open and honest and walk out feeling safe and secure should be their school. We're gonna get through this together. We are, we are a family here at Centennial and we're not gonna give up on them just because they're not sitting in front of us. We are gonna do everything we can to help make sure that they have a successful year. Our whole mission right now is to meet the needs of our students where they're at right now. Mental health is something that I've always struggled with, especially dealing with school. So I really liked that like we were taking like steps to kind of learn about it more. So it kind of like added like an extra like feeling of support in the group. We learned about different things that we could use to calm ourselves down if we can feel like an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Still, my counselor got me to where I needed to be to be able to grow. So whenever my friends are having an anxiety attack or something, I try to guide them through it. And I try to give them any advice that has helped me over the years, just to kind of and make sure that they know that they're not alone and that they're, it will get better and stuff like that. We are doing the best that we possibly can, devoting all of our resources, all of our innovation, everything to meeting the needs of our students right now, because it matters right now. If there was anything I could say to the community is know that this is a place that loves your child. Whether they're on campus or not, we love our students and we want to be there for them. And we're gonna do everything in our power to find ways to connect with kids, connect kids together, connect kids with teachers, still promote those social skills, as well as that sense of belonging. We always say here that our motto is together we can, together we will. And that's really what we're doing right now.